Hey everyone, today we're gonna make a matcha latte for you. This is fashioned after the recent craze of the coffee recipe called Dalgona coffee. Have you seen that? I have a video for you. If you're a coffee lover, you're gonna wanna check that out after you leave this video. So I'll leave a link for you down in the description of the video. All right, so the recipe is similar to that, if you're familiar with it, in that the matcha part of this recipe, we're gonna make it light and creamy and fluffy and delicious. And we're gonna place that on top of a nice glass of chilled almond milk. And then you mix the two together and you have this really just delicious and healthy drink. So I'm Rockin' Robin and I'm gonna show you how to make it right after this. Before we dive into our recipe, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and the notification bell. That's really important. So you'll be notified when my new videos come out every week and we don't want you to miss them. And they're always, you know, we're always cooking up something delicious and healthy. Our matcha latte recipe is vegan and gluten-free today. So just so you know that. All right, so what you're gonna need is some garbanzo beans in a can. So we get the can, we wanna drain out the juice. The juice is going to make our it's gonna whip up, we're gonna whip it up, and it's gonna make a nice, smooth and creamy, you know, frothy sort of mixture that is like egg whites. So you wanna take about a quarter of a cup, place it in a bowl, and then over here, we're gonna take our matcha, we're gonna get some matcha uh, tea. I got mine from Trader Joe's, and I've got a couple teaspoons of that, and I'm gonna place that in a bowl. We're gonna add some sugar to that. You need to add a little bit of sugar to sweeten it up. So I'm using coconut sugar. It's kind of my favorite. You can use white sugar or any other sweetener you like. And we're gonna add a couple of tablespoons of boiling water to this. And that's just gonna help dissolve, you know, all the sugar granules. So you'll stir that up. Just take a minute or so. So now I'm gonna get my glass ready. I'm gonna pour, I'm using almond milk. You can use any milk you want, plant-based, uh, oat milk, you know, whatever you have and whatever you like to use. So I'm gonna pour about two thirds of a cup or two thirds of the glass, I should say, into my glass here. And I like to add, because my almond milk is unsweetened, I like to add a little date paste. I'm a huge fan of date paste for sweetener. And so that's what I'm gonna just put a little bit in there just for a little sweetness, because my milk, like I said, is unsweetened. Just gonna put a little bit in there, take my little handy dandy uh, mixer here and just have that ready to go. Now I'm still going to be adding some ice to this because this is going to be an ice latte. So I've got my garbanzo bean juice in my bowl here and I'm going to add, you want to add about an eighth of a teaspoon, maybe just a little less, of cream of tartar to it and that's going to help stabilize it and just make it, you know, whip up a lot quicker. So we'll go ahead and whip this up and uh, I'll show you what it should look like. Once the garbanzo bean liquid is nice and stiff and peaks, it looks just like egg whites, doesn't it? And then just go ahead and pour in the matcha tea mixture and blend that in as well. If you have any leftovers of this matcha whip, I'll call it, uh, you can store it in the refrigerator for a day or two more, but you'll notice that it does turn to liquid again. So you'll have to re-whip it before you can use it the next day. The aquafaba will keep in the refrigerator for about two, maybe three days. Then all we have to do is place some ice into our mixture there, get it nice and chilled, and then just top it with this beautiful cream. you have a delicious matcha latte ice cold drink. Now you want to make sure that you stir that up before you drink it. You want to combine everything together so all the flavors mix into the whole drink. So give it a good stir and let me have a taste. Ah, very refreshing. The matcha flavor comes through mildly, nicely. A little bit of sweetness, not very much. Very delicious, like I said, and refreshing, guys. Hope you try it. You're gonna love it. Mm. I love the creaminess of it. Really good. 
Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and share the video and we'll see you next time. Take care.